Hey, what's happening? <laughs> Uh, Fran Capitanelli here. Totally into the sound. The new album, Tits for the Bee Gees. I got it right here. I want to thank you all for buying it. There they are. There's the guys. The Bee Gees. That's what, that's what this is about. I love them. It's about them. It's about the music I love. And it's about cramming all my favorite music, this wide swath of stuff, into their songs. So, you know... Guys, if you're watching, it's all done out of love. Um, meanwhile, if you're picking up what I'm throwing down, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Where is it? One of there? It's over here. There's the bell. Hit that bell. That lets you know when a new one of these comes out and you can, you can check it. So... All these great comments and feedback I've be get, been getting. One of them is, sounds great, Fran. How'd you get from the this BG song to your version? I don't hear it. Whew, whew. And yeah, I agree. It's a leap. You know, it's all in there. And so today I'm going to try and uncrack the code a little bit. Could take a second. It's kind of confusing. Maybe, maybe it's not. You be the judge. So the first song, the song I want to talk about is the first song that I demoed. It's called Love You Inside Out. It's on the Spirits Having Flown album. Uh, came out in 78 or 79. I think it was 79. It's the album after Saturday Night Fever. So, you know, the Bee Gees. They're as huge as you could possibly be. They're like Beatles level huge. And we were living in South Florida, so like... I was like, couldn't be any closer to the epicenter of Beatles, Bee Gees, S Central. Um, boom. Criteria Records Studios. Me and my dad were there. I was there. 74, they're there. Psh, who knows? They're probably getting coffee behind me at the pinball machine. There were some, some Bee Gees sightings. It was no wonder. I was such a huge fan. And speaking of the Beatles, you know, when I heard the Bee Gees, Sgt. Peppers, you know, I thought they wrote that. I was like, man, these guys, they're just, they write the best songs ever. Sgt. Peppers? It wasn't until, you know, <laughs> 10 years later, I was like, hey, it's the Beatles, right? Okay. Um, anyway. Love You Inside Out. It's such a cool song. It's not one of the monster hits. And on that album, you got Tragedy, Too Much Heaven. And then this was a single, Love You Inside Out. But it just barely cracked the top 40. But, it, you know, it's a big hit in my life, my world. And I was listening to it a bunch when I was coming up with this idea. So, I, you know, I got this idea to do this project. and came up with the name. And the album title, and it was all like one big package. And I pitched it to a friend of mine um, that had been goading me to like, you know, what are you doing? You got to get back into music. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to find something that is appealing to do. Uh, a niche for me. I know there's a niche for me that's something more than what I was doing. Not that that's not fun. And, and I enjoyed it, but there was something more. So I pitched this whole idea to him. It's called Totally Into the Sound. It's tits for the Bee Gees. It's their songs with all of my favorite influences stuffed into there. Could you imagine the Bee Gees with Eddie Van Halen playing guitar and, you know, Chris Squire playing bass and, um, and he was like, yeah, okay, I trust you. I trust you. Let's hear it. And I was like, well, I don't, you know, I don't have it. It's in, it's all up. I can hear it up here. And he was like, yeah, well, that's great. You got a week. Get one of these songs done and play it for me in a week, a week from today. So I went home and I didn't have any recording equipment. I, I downloaded this uh, multi-track recorder 
uh, on my phone. So, and I've stacked my phone up on these Tupperwares so to make like a mic stand because I didn't have a mic stand that fit the iPhone. So I had this whole contraption of Tupperwares <laughs> making a, a mic stand for my phone. And uh, I was like, okay, you know, I'm just starting out with the guitar. Like, I'm all like freaking out. Oh yeah, now I gotta actually do this. It's great when you have an idea um, and it's working out in your head and you're like, oh, this is a cool idea. But you gotta actually do it. It's like, all right, I gotta, I gotta sit down. I haven't even played guitar. I, who knows when? But I'm like, all right, well, I definitely want there to be a Van Halen aspect. So I'm thinking like, you know, thinking beginning of the streets. Some kind of harmonics thing um, should be the way it starts. And I'm thinking of like, you know, Reveille, the trumpet. And then there's the other one, first call. So I'm getting dun 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 dun. I'm like, all right, well, I know I can do that with harmonics. Something in there. So I was like, all right, well, what about, you know? All right, all right. That's a cool way to start a song just like mania of, of rock guitar. So, well, where do you go from there? I need a riff, something heavy. Uh, what's the heaviest thing I can think of? Well, it's probably Slayer, the Angel of Death. And, um, all right, so I got that. And then I'm thinking about the Slayer and the Beastie Boys connection. What is it? Fight for your right. I think Jeff, Jeff Hanneman plays on that, right? One of those guys does the solo because Rick Rubin was producing Slayer and the Beastie Boys. So I started thinking about, uh, there's that Beastie Boys song, um, staring down the barrel of a gun. Like the sickest... Um, so you put those two things together and you got Cool, man. Like, oh yeah, there's like a Nirvana thing going on there. Swap me. We know Nirvana likes the Bee Gees. Um, Dave Grohl, that whole thing that he did, it's the same. You know, he's probably listening to them one night. He's like, oh God, I love these guys so much. I want to be in there. Can we make a sign for behind my head with their font that has my initials? Oh, what's the difference? It's the same kind of love for being so involved in uh, whatever you're listening to. So I got those couple of parts, but now I need the singing part. And, you know, there's nothing that says the Bee Gees yet. So their song, In Love You Inside Out, it has this little figure. Something right there. 
but I'm in a different key. I'm in drop D flat. All right, yeah, that's cool. What if I change, get like some half steps in there like Slayer does. Oh, that kind of sounds like the Breeders uh, song I like, Saints. Let's add another half step there. It makes it nice and evil. Yeah. I got a riff here. Get somewhere. All right. I am incorporating their song into my cover of their song. With all these different influences, this whole ambrosia of stuff going on. Um, now I need the singing. So they're doing like a... Baby, I can't figure it out. Your kisses taste like honey. Sweet eyes don't give me no rise. Um, I can't play this chord in a rock song, so I need to throw mag it a little bit. Baby, I can't figure it out. listen back to it I'm like all right that sounds cool but what if the vocals were like ah, you know stretching out just can barely get there baby I can't figure it out your kisses taste like honey sweet lies don't give it no right all right that's more what I'm going for somebody that's just like ah, crying out for help I can't figure it out your kisses taste like honey. <laughs> um, the next part is more like a Judas Priest thing. Ooh, it's like a Freddie Mercury swell there. You treat me like a vision in the night. Love is like oxygen. It's more Slayer. I'm hanging on oh, That little uh, waterfall of harmonies that's supposed to be like Jane's Addiction um, and then uh, now we're to the chorus so the chorus originally I had it a lot more like theirs Love you inside and out but um, after I did this song, I did another song. It was an Andy Gibbs song. Uh, I just want to be your everything. That song didn't work out. My version of it is one of my, but but I love that song. But I came up with this riff in there that sounded kind of Sabbath. <laughs> So the Andy Gibbs song is like, it's almost the same chord. I think it's the same chord as Love You Inside Out. For so long, you and me have been finding each other. For so long. Lots of minor sevenths and major sevenths. But I was doing it like Danzig. For so long. That song didn't work out, but I love that part. I was like, well, what if I take that part that I love, put it in Love You Inside Out for that chorus? Let's try it. Love you inside and out. Backwards and forwards, my heart hanging 
It worked. It was working, as far as I was concerned. So, I'm there. I'm there. I got the intro. I got the verse. I got that little melody at the beginning. I've got the chorus. Now we're back around to the bridge. Their bridge is like, don't try to tell me that it's all over. Well, I'm gonna slow that down into this riff. That way I can get back into the beginning. And don't try to tell me that it's all over. I can't get a word. So that was working. You can't change the way I feel inside. So I gotta get in. Their part is, uh, you are the reason for my laughter and my sorrow. So thinking more Slayer would be nice. What if Lane Staley is singing it? You are the reason for my laughter. Then, or to a solo. There's no solo in their song, but there's gonna be a solo in my song, and there's gonna be a solo in every song that I do. So, get used to that. Um, the guitars I like are Jimmy Page. So, I'm thinking Jimmy Page for the solo. I got there. We're right at the end of the song. I finished the song and was able to submit it for my deadline. <laughs> Fran Capitanelli, totally into the sound. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe. Do it. Just do it. You're helping me out, dude. Appreciate it.